I'm Chris, and today we're gonna fix a tire on my lawnmower. Let's do this real quick. This really isn't a how-to video because this really isn't the correct way to do it, but this is how I did it, and it worked. You wanna start by jacking up or securing the lawnmower in some way. Go ahead and take the tire off, cut the valve stem off, break the bead on the tire so you can get inside there. Go ahead and place the tube right inside the tire, making sure that the valve stem on the tube is positioned correctly. And then when filling the tube up, you wanna make sure you allow the air to escape that's in between the tube and the tire itself. You can do this a couple times and before you know it, you'll have the tube filled up to the proper PSI. Put the tire back on, put the bolts back on, secure everything, and mow your lawn. And you're done. I realize this is not the most conventional and correct way to fix a flat tire. Especially a tubeless tire, you really should just replace it. But I'm doing it on the cheap and I'm doing it real quick. It doesn't always go as simple as that. tire on this side is being a pain in the butt. It was so stuck on that axle, I actually used the wax method of getting it off. That worked fairly well. But I can't even break the seal, break the bead on the one side here. I broke it on the other side, but that's, I wanna break it on the valve side. Oh, this is more work than I wanted to do. I had to go to the doctor this morning, and there's not always an instance where you can go to the doctor and vlog at the same time. As soon as I walked in there, the big huge sign that said, no video recording, no cell phones. I had to take my cell phone, shut it off, place it face up on the desk during the exam. Because I had a cell phone with me. Whatever, I get it. Yes, I'm making hard boiled eggs. Hopefully it doesn't turn out like the bacon fiasco that I had. But in all honesty, I made a video on how to make hard boiled eggs. I just didn't publish it yet, maybe sometime soon. And I had to refer back to that video on how to make them because I always forget how to make hard boiled eggs. I don't know why I can't remember it. As long as you cook the eggs right, they should peel with no problem. Sometimes peeling it underneath uh, running water or underneath in the pan with water makes it just a little bit easier. Now, I would suggest adding ice when you cool the eggs down, but I didn't do that today. Just doing it quick and fast. My wife said she bought me some spicy cheese, and that's good. I was thinking maybe some of that horseradish cheese. I haven't had that in a while. Maybe some habanero cheese, something like that. No, she tells me she got ghost pepper cheese. I've had a ghost pepper before. I'm not too thrilled about this. You don't want to know what my reaction response was to her. It's late and I'm tired. This should kind of wake me up a little bit, right? Now, I don't know if this is a thing, but I've noticed that if you eat peanut butter or peanuts first and then you have spicy stuff, you don't really feel the spiciness of it. I don't know if it, like, does it coat your tongue? I mean, milk helps take away the oils from the, the spice, the capsaicin and stuff. Which, by the way, if you get pain patches, like pain patches for back relief and stuff with capsaicin, in theory, that should help a little bit better because with the capsaicin and such, the more you have it, the less you feel the effect of the spiciness. It like numbs the pain. That's what I've heard. And it is true. If you eat really spicy stuff and you keep eating it, it's not as spicy and such. All right, let's see what this is. My guess is there's not much ghost pepper because it said there's ghost pepper, jalapeno, and habanero in here. And there's probably very little ghost pepper. Really? That's it. I've had habanero cheese that was hotter. Maybe you gotta eat a bunch of it to get the one piece that has the little tiny bit of ghost pepper. This is nothing. Robin can eat this. I'm a little sad. We should, uh, <clears throat> we should email them. And mail them the video of Robin eating this. This is nothing. That's not even like, I mean, Sriracha's got more kick. Whatever. 
It's cheese. It's got a little bit of spice. Thank you.